And first off, we get it. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. I will get back into it, I swear. Thank you so much, Jeff. Oh my god, thank you. Now, if we could just get some cross progression so I can take my progress from Xbox and bring it over to the Switch. Be down. I thought for sure this was going to be the end announcement though. Even though it was revealed, or it was leaked, I think. That's crazy. Oh, I'm so happy. Can't believe it's finally here. Next month. But still, finally here. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Jeff. I'll be Thank you, Nintendo. Today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Get a load of this new free-to-start Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 okay. and Kirby are in for some Another Kirby boss game. fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take up quests in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons. Get your gear and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Or this looks play very online. okay. Which is kind of what is the line with Kirby currently. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world. And well, I guess each he has had a good run. When Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Shadow drops. And remember, it's free to start too. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is Save getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger. There's been a man a person. Themselves. Step into the light, um, or show your I dark wanted side to get the collection. Your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike it the never really version, grabbed me as a kid. Full range of movement. Oh, this so trials of man looks combo attack hella dope. Of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. 
find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of hey, Mana April birthday. 24th. Is what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? Finally get to play this game. This game was like the very touted last year. Only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. I honestly don't know much As about this game. Other than uh, Jared Petty from Kind of Funny. Well, formerly from Kind of Funny. And uh, Your really loved it. Rely heavily on one so. less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Looks pretty dope. pocket watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastards may take exactly what I give you. Explore the ship, observe the situation, and record your logical deductions. Interesting style Without for sure. You, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch okay. in fall 2019. Just about a year after it was released, initially. There's a small town out there with a is big the, Is secret. this the Game Freak one? Yeah. Never leave town. Oh, it's no longer that Project Hero or Project Town? Project Town. town. And the castle it protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. Kind of looks like a fantasy Defend life. The townspeople. Almost. One boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Like a JRPG version of fantasy. No, need, never mind. Our ideas. It's kind of like, well, no, but it kind of looks like Dokkan Kingdom. One of these battles. In, in a certain weird them. kind of way. Strategy is everything. If there's any hope to win. During battle. You can move around to garner support from town. It'll be interesting to see Game Freak do something besides Pokemon for a change. Gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. I'm not digging and almost all the, the music in combat, the game was composed but... by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Oh, okay. Little town hero will make a stand on Nintendo Oh, they have, actually have October a 16. day for it. That's you can dope. pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Fall is coming to Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, we knew this was coming. Probably we're gonna get release date then. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger yeah. Pack Three: Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo <laughs> release and Kazooie date confirmed. <laughs> and the release date is today. Oh, After Shadow Drop Nintendo Banjo. We'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director Masahiro Sakurai. Hell yeah. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first. Wait. Are we getting another hero? What? Where are we going? SNES. Neo Geo. No, the SNK character. That's right. I probably won't even know who this is, honestly. I'm assuming he's King of, Fight King of Fighters, maybe? It's a cool style out there doing it, though. They're all trying to catch it. I see. Bye bye. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. I literally don't know a single one of these characters. Although, no, no, wait. I know that guy. That guy's from King of Fighters. I've seen him on Box Art. So there is some sort of King of Fighters. Reference. I 
Recover! Is it bad? I don't know who that is. I'm Yagen. I've heard Fatal I've heard of Fatal Fury at the very least. I only have a day for him. So Which means we only have Bogart, one more Fatal left. Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? <laughs> fighters pass two? We're happy to confirm yeah. the development of more okay. DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Just Outside keep it going as a platform, man. Included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced me. about additional fighters at the end of the segment, me, I suppose. we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's yeah. about time to wake the wind. Dude, that's like Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which that's like 15 days, 16 days away. Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. That's in, it's insane. I can't wait for this game. Islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all new Chamber Dungeon, you it's can absolutely chambers insane how close this game is. To arrange your own how is it already September? Add in plus effects that alter chambers and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. I do you want that amiibo? The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. Okay. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Doesn't that come out now 20... join his adventure. Four? Dragon Quest 11S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly I mean, it's like, that. the big thing about the this is that it doesn't have that allows you to the stupid MIDI tracks. It has Travel the to actual or orchestrated, which, you know, normally I wouldn't and be bad. Like, new character I wouldn't stories. care, but that soundtrack the the was horrible. Downloadable content can be found in the Champions 27th. Okay. Including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Yeah, it's one of those games where I got like halfway through, Dragon Quest and then they talked about the Switch Echoes of an elusive version. Age definitive edition. Like, man, on Nintendo Switch, September I gotta play it halfway through again, but at least I know what I'm getting now, though. Until I can kind of just. You can prepare oh, for your adventure oh yeah, I think that was already on. Nintendo e shop. The shop, I want to say. Then you can continue your your quest. Looking for more? <gasps> no! Say hello to Tokyo. Yes! Cam! The world Cam, we did it! Cam, we did it! Paths. And the result is coming to How the Switch. fuck? How the fuck? <laughs> the story takes place in modern day Tokyo. What the fuck? So the, get ready, get ready your Wii U. There's no more reason to have a Wii U. Tokyo Mirage Sessions is here. Who suck it out of people. Woo! You'll How the fuck did we do this? Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it I'm sorry, Cam. Business. I'm at the champ. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wait that is Cam from Dual Shockers battles, for you guys who don't know. Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features from the new story elements. This to is the fucking amazing. You in battle for the first time. I honestly, like, after E3, I honestly did not know, Tokyo did Mirage think we were going to get this. Sharp FE Encore releases on January Perfect 17. January game. You can pre-purchase the game later uh, today. So good. Welcome back. <gasps> nothing is what it seems. What? <laughs> what? Did they put their shit so? <laughs> When FBI what the fuck? Davis, what the fuck? Killer case. She also opens a door. How do how do we get this? Door that also takes us back to New Orleans. Oh my god! Years ago. Excuse me. 
Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. Fritz, you're talking! The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York. To <laughs> Seriously. But what, lies at the what end? timeline are we in? Did we get a Deadly Premonition 2? On the Switch. Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. What the fuck? <laughs> And now for a shocker, the original game in the yeah. series will launch a Although that game, admittedly, is trash. <laughs> but it's so good. It's the best kind of trash. Divinity, original Sin 2, Divinity nice. is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Dude, Check Nintendo! What the fuck? Oh man. Pulling out those big hitters. I mean, of course, these all are games that people are just like, like people who are not super nerds like I am are just like, oh, that's cool. But there's seriously no way I thought we were getting a Deadly Premoni Premonition 2 revealed on the Switch. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are we getting Divinity? One of the best games of 2017. I absolutely recommend you guys who haven't played it. Man, <laughs> really? That was so out of left field. Yeah, I gotta get that. I still have to beat it. And now for a message from Bethesda. Hey Nintendo fans, Doom? Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool. I still can't believe we got to Nintendo Switch permission, man. later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours That's playing insane. your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of we're getting Doom 64 right now. First-person shooter franchises ever, and to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Nice. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially Hello, available Madison. on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade you are uh, joining the uh, action packed level. The craziness that is this Nintendo Direct. It's a retro first person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Oh. Excuse me. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Same day that Doom Eternal comes out. Wow. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will be well, you gotta have some generic games, I suppose. And tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective based game modes. Whether you wield guns, look bad. gadgets, or melee weapons, Actually, no, it, it looks bad. The choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. This looks like that game that was released, uh... How's it going? On Wii U a little while Next, back. the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Get some Pokemon. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Every Pokemon time a new Pokemon game comes out, future. I keep saying Among like... Them, You'll this is not the one. Pokemon. I'm not gonna buy this. New people throughout your Every adventure. single one I buy, play like five hours of, Today, we'll and then put it down. Features you can look forward and this to. will be the same. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in I the do series like lets you my look. pick your outfit. You kind of got me, Game this Freak. Time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Plus, with them gloves. you can change your hairstyle. Fuck with that glove hype. Or Am put I right? on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp That's amazing how far we've Pokemon come. Camp. 
25 years. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. Like, this and is Pokemon. If I did better, this is Pokemon. They'll also improve in battle. It's insane. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps, too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Yeah, you interact with other people's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. Curry, curry on out, rice. And what Have we mentioned curry on rice? depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. What's there are that waiter? types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal is to master the art of curry. Huh? Do they really have something Pokemon named the curry it. decks? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste it. Pokemon, this ghost man, Pokemon once you get past like has a special ability 300, I feel like Pokemon is just like, Next, yeah, let's get weird. Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. I don't know who this is, swallow what this it is, fit in its mouth. but I love it already. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Exclusive new ability. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. God damn it, Nintendo. You're going to make me buy this, aren't you? You're going to make me buy this. I'm not even going to play it, but you're going to make me buy it. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new you just, adventure in the You just Nintendo room. Switch Thanos snapped my wallet away. It's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online memberships. Wait, all right, are we getting Are we getting SNES? Providing a variety of games and fun features. Let's give me some SNES. And, now, and this will be just this already top tier 3. It's called yeah! Super Nintendo System. What Nintendo the fuck, Switch Nintendo? Online. Why did this take so this, long? You can play a variety of classic Super Mario. <laughs> ah, creepy games. stream. Ah, Switch. Super Mario. Ah! Oh my god, dude, this is fucking there insane. <gasps> Nintendo, where were you in E3? We needed you the most in E3. Another system for the first time. You can face off. What the fuck? Multiplayer by passing a joy. This is amazing. Or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Thank you, Nintendo. Finally, Here are the first games we plan to release. But when are you releasing them, Nintendo? When are you releasing All them? twenty of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Course, thank you. We will eventually add more to the line. Thank you, Mr. Nintendo. This offer Thank is you. exclusively available to Nintendo Switch online members, so please enjoy them at no additional actually charge. use that service. Oh, you noticed this, did you? Oh, they're making a new controller To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System That's Nintendo cool. Switch online exclusive controller Man. as a special offer. Fucking it, Nintendo, you dude. Use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So good. This Super NES-style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website. I don't even want a Nintendo, but like, information just take my money. Release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. This is crazy. Sure, you know oh, Tetris, also it's right above. But can you survive Dude, this? like, real talk, though, Tetris 99 is, like, one of the games of the year. Tetris 99 is getting if you haven't played Tetris 99, Tetris 99 commit. Is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? 
Well, good luck. Oh, it's like ranked Tetris? We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, this you one's can just like tickets in exchange so for fun to be have like as a games. mobile game. Sweet. To showcase your oh, sweet. We're tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. I've Beyond probably that, put like wave of paid DLC 20 hours in conservatively into this game. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for ah, a split screen. Oof. The CPU. I like Get it. Together with friends to battle via local I like it. On your Nintendo Switch systems and local Thank you, Mr. Nintendo. Mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 Thank will be you. available Thank tomorrow. You. A package version including the game, DLC, and an I just want Switch it. Online I'll buy it. I'll take it. Thank you, Nintendo. I know it's free. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events. This is definitely just like karate. better Sport than ball. anything, Sport. including Nintendo. Sevens. Sport had an E3. Badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know I mean, what? not this game exclusively. There's this game is kind of long, from. but... Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters. All right, we're giving us a little bit more Sonic, in the Olympic Bowser series. And Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold. I'm sure that'd be a fun party game at some point. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Well, Damon X Machina, X Machina in general is going to be here sooner than you think, Mr. Nintendo. Damon X Machina prologue demo will be available for download later today. I, in this I hope this game's like just your mech through the just a 7 out of 10. Game. That's all and I need. 7 out of 10. All of progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, hmm. and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Sweet. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. This is just like what Gundam Breaker without actually armor. being Gundam. A god. And a I hope demon. it's good. Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. But also Borderlands comes out of that day. A Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Excuse me? Kyle Katarn. Are we getting fucking Jedi Outcast in here? Stop a rogue Jedi. What the fuck? <laughs> lightsaber at the ready. Blaster in hand. Nintendo, you didn't have to, but you did it. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. <laughs> what the Nintendo fuck? Switch, September 24. Oh my God. <laughs> We've got new details on some updates. That's games. insane. That's straight up Where fucking insane. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract oh, that looks bad. Down a weapon known as the but I'm so happy it's available on the You'll have a whole world go. At home oh, what the and fuck? The go. Jedi Outcast and Deadly Premonition 2 were definitely Nintendo not things I was thinking about when going into this. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Oh. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Yeah, I'm down for that. That's two action games Will I go back to it? Probably not. But I do like that pirate. Like I mean, they just, they, they do need to, like, remake this in the current engine. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Okay. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft That's, and customize uh, hundreds of Man, this, this direct is absolutely insane. Take down boss size behemoths. This is the As best see, the announcements that have come out the entire year. Of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Game-wise. Don't get carried away. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Yeah, I give it to me, Mr. Yep, we got the Nino Coonies. We got whatever that is. 
still releasing on the Wii, by the way. Just Dance is still releasing on the Wii. The Wii came out 12 years ago. But if it's still selling, go get it. I didn't know that was coming out the 20th. Well, Nino Kuni's gonna have to wait. Sorry to the people who heard my, my headphones. I really am glad that I decided to stream this. Because this is bonkers. The worst devil may cry. All right, what are you dropping on us? Oh, okay, we we're just How's cutting to black going? then. Next up, Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Yep. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering. Show me some more more next. multiplayer. See, Show me some, some more multiplayer, Animal Crossing. Look how cute, chill Tom Nook is. Even though he's a thieving bastard. He's got just that cute Hawaiian shirt. I love how he cops with his belly. It's so cute. Thank you for choosing Can't wait the till deserted March. island getaway package. A laid back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. So you have to slave for away for all the bells. Participating in the getaway package, the times come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. I'm so I'm for so starters, ready just to we'll sink you with a tent. hundreds of hours into this game. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Of course, it's a it Nook brand phone. installed with a variety you of apps fucking, for all your deserted island needs, including recipes, you fucking Steve Jobs for ass motherfucker, Tom Nook. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches. Oh wait, things come out at the night. And it's fucking monsters. Ah! Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. Give me some like. Or outside. Cool little arcade pieces. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Look how cute that is. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs. It's been a long I gotta try to play New Leaf. Flowers, and it didn't really catch me. And pick them to make a garland. But well, I'm definitely gonna get into Thanks this game. to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Yeah, you get them, Nintendo. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. 
There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. I mean, I wish it was sooner. I really do. I think that'll be a good time because it's just before Cyberpunk, though. So, how did it look? Well, it's also around Final Fantasy VII. There's still a bit more time seven. until the game launches. So I wish it was just like a February game. February, if All it was right. a February game, it would be game perfect. Would be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. All right, let's see what we got. That they can't surprise me anymore. Somehow they will find a way. Given me. This is Xenoblade Chronicles One. I think it is. No, is that X? I think that's X. No, it's one. Do you wish to change it? Huh? It's like it looks like a remake. The future. Some of the textures were a bit off. I mean, Nintendo, you had me with all of the games going through. So, I mean, you probably weren't going to get me with the end one. But it's exciting. Don't get me wrong. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I'll definitely play it for sure. The game is planned for release I have to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, though. Please look forward to more announcements. Maybe in the I should future. go through that. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nintendo. How the fuck did we get Deadly Premonition 2? How did we deserve that? That is insane. And Overwatch on Switch? Alright, hold on. We gotta, we gotta stop Hello. this. I love you, Sakurai, but we gotta stop this. How? We'll be so blessed with not only Overwatch and Switch. When it leaked, we leaked it. And yet Nintendo was still like, we'll give you some tidbits. Not only that, but Deadly Premonition 2 and Jedi Outcast. And d the original De Deadly Premonition being put on Switch. How the fuck did that happen? The games are cool, guys. That's insane. Anyways, thank you for coming to the stream. Um, if you like the stream or like what I do, uh, you should probably check out uh, youtube.com slash shotgun McPain or twitch.tv slash shotgun McPain. I think this, this is the first stream I've done. Uh, if you guys like this, let me know and I'll do a few more. I do. I mean, I always watch the, um, I always watch the, the, directs and the e3 and gamescom and everything but if you'd like me to stream it i'd be more than willing to but anyways take care